Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys the process of upgrading from the generally available version of Windows Server 2025 standard to data center. Before we jump into that tutorial though, if you're interested in purchasing a Windows Server license, remote desktop licenses, Windows 10, Windows 11, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave those links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. If you missed our installation video and you want to see how to download and install the generally available version of Windows Server 2025, click the link right here. Okay, so all we're going to need before we jump into this is our license key. This is usually provided to you via email after you've purchased it from whichever vendor. If you get it from Microsoft, it'll be available from your Microsoft account. Or if you purchase it from an authorized reseller such as Indigo Software, you'll have it in your email inbox. Once you find that, go ahead and copy that. And then the other requisite that we'd like to recommend is to make a backup of any important data on your server before attempting this upgrade. Once you've done those two things, let's jump on the computer. All right, so I'm here on Windows Server. This is 2025 standard evaluation. So this is the generally available version of this operating system. We are signed in as an administrator, which will be required. Let's start with the start key and we're gonna type in CMD for command prompt and then let's run as administrator here. We're gonna leave all of the commands in the description for you guys. The first one, we're gonna be using the DISM commands to set our new edition. So we're gonna start with this one, which is get current edition. As we can see, we're on server standard eval. This is telling us that we're on the server standard evaluation. So let's go ahead and proceed to the next command. This one is get target editions. This is basically giving us a list or a range of available editions that we can upgrade to. You can see we have turbine standard or data center and data center is the one in which we're going to be upgrading to. All right, guys, I'm going to copy in the final command here, and this is where our product key is actually going to be entered as well. So it'll start with the X's. We're gonna replace the X's with our actual product key. All right, and I'll go ahead and paste my product key. And then again, after your product key, just make sure that we're typing the command except EULA, okay? And with that in, we're gonna have our product key blurred, but you guys would, again, place your product key right here. We'll hit enter. All right, guys, and once the upgrade process has completed, simply enter the following command, which is shutdown r slash t and then followed by a zero. This is going to restart the server, which will finalize the upgrade. So I'll hit enter. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about upgrading from standard to the data center version of the now generally available Windows Server 2025, Drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave those links down below. As our channel grows, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas to make. If you have any specific ideas that you'd love for us to cover, we encourage you to drop those in the comments as well. Most of these requests get made into actual videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.